It's an accident! Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Oh, the brooms are school property. This. I this want them brilliant. returned in one piece. Good grip. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. <laughs> Good. I've got this. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. 
I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part of you? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plenty of land and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Most would I wish I could have formed my own. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class.
very strict when it comes to broom safety. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted, in which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, my... Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff skeen dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway... To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Urge defending Hogsmeade. Mm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Finally, have an answer as to why that portrait was empty.
And why is she always holding his hand? Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. The Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Uh, Lumos. Rebellion. Uh, uh, Lumos. Venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Transfiguration requires such precision. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. 
It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunkin for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Did you find this place my friend ominous gaunt he named it the undercroft we used to play gobstones here all the time with my sister Anne. she loved that infernal game what i wouldn't give to lose to her again i should tell you i swore to ominous i would safeguard this place so please keep this between us he never confides in anyone but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. 
and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think... ...that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Confringo! That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Confringo! I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, 
Well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Off on another adventure, are we? get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. If you work all day with your hands, you're no better than a muggle. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you.
That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm.
If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. This is rather fun. This will take some getting used to. You must have cheated, you... Oh, Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. <sighs> you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks.
I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? <laughs> 